Yeah. Galatians 4 and 16. It said, Am I therefore become your enemy enemy because I tell you the truth? See, how we therefore become your enemy because we tell you the truth? We're telling you something that's going to lead you to what? Salvation. Believing in the Old Testament by itself is not going to lead you to salvation. You got to believe in the whole book because why? Can I give me Hebrews 10 and 7? This is why you can't just believe on just the old or just the new. You got to believe in the whole Bible, man. This is your salvation. You see what I'm saying? You don't go to a, 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 a movie store or get you a music CD and just skip to the last song. You ain't going to know if the rest of the CD is good or not. You just skip to the last song. You got to play the other 10 or 11 tracks that's on that CD. Hebrews 10 7. You see what I'm saying? You got to believe in the whole Bible. You can't just take out a fraction of this. I don't want to believe in the rest. I just believe in this. No, you can't do that, man. You see what I'm saying? Hebrews 10 7. Hebrews 10 and 7, it says, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me to, de to do thy will, O, o God. Ooh, now who was that talking? Uh, Yeah, read Hebrews 7 and 10. Hebrews. I wish he was still standing here right now. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 7. He yeah. said, Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me mm -hmm. to, thy will, to do thy will, O God. He read. He said, Above when he says, Sacrifice and offering and burnt offering and offering for thy si for sin that what is not. Neither has pleasure therein. See, why did he say that? Because back in Isaiah, in the first chapter, the Lord done away with the law of sacrifice. Because why? Israel was abusing that law of sacrifice. They were doing premeditated sacrifice. When they know they're finna go commit adultery, they, they had that turtle dove already ready to what? Be sacrificed for their sin, so they go and commit their sin. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. He said, which are offered by the law. Uh-huh. Then he, then said he. Well, it looks like somebody bit the side of his car, man. The sound system more than this car. He said, then said he, no, I come to do thy will. Oh, 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 God. He take it away first that he may establish the second. Mm -hmm. He taking away what? That law of sacrifice that he may establish the second by who? Who the world called Jesus Christ, which is Yahweh shot in the Hebrew. Keep reading. He's saying, by the which when we are sanctified through the offering of our body of Yahweh shot Hamashiach once for all. See? Offer a sacrifice to who? There you go. That's why the Lord sent his son to be a prince and a savior to give salvation and repentance of sin to Israel. Not the heavenly father himself coming down doing that. <laughs> I wish he was still out here, man. You see what I'm saying? That's why it's important to what? Know your Bible. When you go to anybody to debate or challenge, you better have your, your eyes dotted and your T's crossed. You better have your ducks in a row and get ready for warfare. You can't just come up to a person off of rhetoric, oh, I know something you don't know, let me teach you. Because you don't know what that person may know. That's why it's important to remain humble in this truth. Because the Lord will embarrass you when you think you're on some type of level. See what I'm saying? And the reason why we laugh is what? Because we know the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and we know that this person is getting cut. We're not laughing at their downfall, but we're laughing because why? This 
dude got confounded through the spirit of power Yahweh Bashim Yahweh He thought he was going to debunk the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and got confounded. That's right. See what I'm saying? That's on him. Alright, what you got, boys? I'm gonna finish this in uh, Timothy. Go ahead, bro. Take a Timothy 4 and uh, I'm gonna go start at verse 4. And it says, They shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto faith. Did he not do that? Him as well as other countless examples. They turn their ears from the truth and start believing fables. They might well believe that Mr. Rogers came and saved uh, Israel. Or the Easter Bunny. That's right. They might as well believe in all of them. Or Santa Claus. See what I'm saying? Instead of, see, they don't want to believe in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Those were the same people from the ancient time that gave him over to be crucified. That's right. They released uh, Barabbas instead of Yahweh Shah. Because they hated men of truth. They hate anybody that tells the truth. That's how the world is. That's why we just read. Uh, I become your enemy because I tell you the truth. That's right. And I always tell my uh, people, hey, the quickest way to make somebody mad is to tell them the truth, man. Right. That's how you know they're on the mighty right path if you start telling them what God said the Lord and you see they anger. That's right. Yeah. They don't want to believe no more. <laughs> man, the Lord is beautiful, man. Man, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, matter of fact, just for edification. If this is one of the scriptures he tried to bring out in Hosea. Uh coffee, coffee, please. I think I thought Starbucks was down that way. Yeah, the mall. Yeah, the mall in the mall. Yeah, the mall, the mall. Cut this corner right here. Yeah. Keep straight. Uh, look to your Don't right. Don't go right. past the light. The mall is right there on the corner. Yes, bro. Huh? Go right here, bro. He might get lost because it's dark. That's all right. Go to the mall. Go around that way. Yeah. Go around that way and uh, go to the end of the corner. The mall is right there to your right. All right. Yeah. Don't go past the light. That's the mall right there on the corner. Thank you. All right. I'm good. Hosea 1 and 1. Hosea 1 and 1. He said, The word of the, of the Lord that come unto Hosea, the son of Bere, in the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Ezekiel, king of Judah. And in the days of Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel. He read, The beginning of the word of the Lord is by Hosea. And the Lord said to Hosea, Go take unto thee a wife of whoredoms and the children of whoredoms, for the land hath committed great whoredoms departing from the Lord. Now, what is it? What is this? This is a parable. Even though Israel do take whores, there's nothing wrong with that. But this is a parable talking about the nation of Israel getting off into what? Other doctrines and philosophy. Following the ways of other heathen of that land and other lands. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It says, so, this verse 3, it says, So he went and took Gomer, the daughter of the Bliam, the Bliam, which conceived and bare him a son. Yeah, go ahead. The Lord said unto him, Call his name Jezreel. That's another name for what? Israel. Go ahead. For yet a little while, and I will avenge the blood of Jezreel upon the house of Jehu, and, and will cause to seize the kingdom of the house of Israel. Uh -huh. Go ahead. And it shall come to pass at that day that I will break the bow of Israel in the valley of Jezreel. Go ahead. And she conceived and again and then a daughter. And God said unto him, Call her name Lorahama. Yeah, Loruma. Loruma. For I will no more have mercy upon the house of Israel, but I will utterly take them away. So that right there is telling you what? That the Lord is not dealing with Israel. The Heavenly Father Himself is not dealing with Israel. Go ahead. During this particular time in the scripture in Hosea. It said, But I will have mercy upon the house of Judah, and will save them by the Lord their God, 
and will not save them by bow, nor by sword, nor by battle, by horse, nor by horsemen. See? So that's where it says, it says what? We're not going to be, li be delivered through what? War. See what I'm saying? Go ahead. So now when she weaned Lohamon, she conceived and bare a son. Uh-huh. Then said God, call his name Lohamon. La uh -huh. Lohamon. Lohamon. For ye are not my people, and I will not be your God. Uh-huh. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be at the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass that in the, in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. Now hold on. Where is that place where it said that we are not the Lord's people? Where is that place? That's here in America. See what I'm saying? Because this is the land where people don't know that we're the children of Israel. Go ahead. Then it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. See? And it said there. Here in America it shall be said, because they're going to know when the, heavenly, when the Heavenly Father sent His Son, Yehoshua, to come and deliver His people about a what? Bondage, which is where? Here in Babylon, a.k.a. America. Go ahead. So then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be gathered together and appoint themselves one head, and they shall themselves appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be the day of Jezreel. That's right. Now, who is that one head? That's King David. See what I'm saying? Because why? Hey, we're going to take it back to the old days in Exodus. Remember, Jephro told Moses that what? You have to set up rulership and government, right? So what did Moses do? He set up rulers and uh and governors, you know what I'm saying? Rulers, captains, captains of 100, captains of 50s, generals, all that stuff. See what I'm saying? So, just like Moses, <laughs> just like Moses was the head, that one head back then, guess what? It's still here today because who was Moses? Moses was King David. But that's a whole nother subject. If you have ears to receive, so if you got hear, ears to hear, let them hear. If you can receive it, receive it. See what I'm saying? Just like, uh, just like Moses and David. David was who? Peter. Because Yahweh said what? Upon you shall I build my church. Upon this rock I will build my church. See what I'm saying? Huh? And he gave a key to something. He gave to Peter too. See what I'm saying? Because what? If he, see, if he knew the Old Testament, he would even know about reincarnation. It's all in the Bible from old and new. Even Yahweh, before he came into his mother's womb as Isaac, he came to Abraham, uh, came to Jacob. No, he came to uh, Abraham. Matter of fact, I get. I don't. I ain't gonna make it. I get. Okay, give me Genesis chapter 18, start at verse, start at verse 1. The Lord appeared unto him. Call it out. Call it out. Genesis 18 and 1. Okay. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains. See, it says.